Welcome to how to create custom decals with Unreal Engine 4. In this tutorial series, we're going to cover a lot of topics. And by the end, you will be able to create a variety of different custom decals to use in your level designs and game environments. So let me give you a quick overview of what to expect. We're going to start off with setting up a project. And we're going to set up a default level so we can test our decals in. Then you will learn how to create a very simple solid color decal entirely inside Unreal Engine and then how to use and apply decals inside your level. Then you will learn how to create your very first texture image decal. We'll use a texture image, resize it, do some basic adjustments and export it from Photoshop and import that texture into Unreal Engine. We'll cover how to create a detailed normal map to use with your decal. And we'll spend some time going over some of the options of how to make your custom decals work in indirect baked lighting. This is something that you will discover as you're working with your project that by default your decals will not show up in indirect baked lighting as well as in unlit mode. So we'll go through some of the options of how to enable debuffer decals. We'll then continue and begin to create a variety of different decals. We'll go through how to create a masked texture decal, how to create a sewer texture decal complete with a normal and a roughness map, how to create stains, leaks, grime and dirt texture decals, how to create blood splattered texture decals, and we'll finish off with how to create numbers and text texture decals. We'll create a clean number and text decal and then we'll add some worn off paint and damage. So by the end of this tutorial series you can expect to walk away with a complete understanding of how to create your own custom texture decals, how to use them inside the level, how to make them work in different lighting situations, and specific step-by-step -step techniques of how to create different types of decals. So there's a lot of tips, techniques, and workflows covered along all of the videos. So let's go ahead and get started.